It's that time again. Welcome to November Questions. And I hope you guys enjoyed my 50th blog anniversary. I know it was plain and stuff, but it's the original. When I had no music and it's longer. So that's why there was no music in it because it was the original and it's the 50th blog. So that's why it was like that how it is. First question by Dodo Bird. How do I find out? what my life mission is. And another question by Dodo Bird. You say you don't care about having a relationship and only care about your family. Eventually, in order for your family to carry on, you'll have to get a wife and make children by coming into her sweet, tight snatch. It's fine that you don't want to get involved with that for the time being. But do you think you'll seek a wife later on in your life? Let me tell you something. A life mission is something that you see as work, but you don't see it as work. You find something that you really like and you really enjoy and you have a blast and you could do it every single day for the rest of your life and enjoy what you do and plus you get paid for it. It's like you'll never complain about it. And you enjoy what you do. It's like, wow, that's interesting. Because there is a difference between work and a career. A career is something that you enjoy. And you do a lot of fun things that you enjoy. And work is that you wake up every morning, shit, I don't want to go to work. <laughs> Fuck work. So, like for my example, mine was a calling to be a mortician. And every time I go to the funeral home to work, it was like I get to do something exciting. I'm doing something that I really want to do. And it's like, and plus, a bonus is I get paid for something that I like to do. So, if you find something that you really like to do and you get paid for it, that is a life mission. But life missions could come unexpectedly you know it's like it could come from a calling or a something that you really like doing and you fall in love doing it for uh, the rest of your life you know it's really difficult for me to explain it but I'm doing the best as I can to be able to explain it and hopefully you're getting the picture it's like for me I, w I was called to be a funeral director by the, the Lord Heavenly Father up above and I don't see the funeral home as work. I see it as an opportunity to help families. And that's something that I like to do. And plus, I'm getting paid for it. So it's like, that's something you have a mission for. That's my mission on this earth. But it may be your mission to do something else. You do it. That's what we're on this earth for, you know? And we're on this earth for to worship God in a a timely manner, you know? So, that's how much I'm going to be able to say because time is running short. And you asked me why I don't care about getting married or having a relationship. Because people in the South are so judgmental. And I'm a type person, it's like, I don't want to get a lemon. It's like, Hamilton, you rush things, you get a lemon. You act a certain way, you get that kind of enforcement. You get that kind of personality, you know? So, it's like, you know I love my family. I have brothers and sisters. I have nine siblings in my family. That's including me. We were all adopted, and I don't... They, they all are getting married. They all... Half of my family members are married. And three of us are not. My older brother has a girlfriend. Me and Hudson don't have girlfriends because g girls don't like our disability. I may be wrong, but they think we're weird. So it's like, because I know each pattern is the same. I sit back and observe. So, and my younger sister has a boyfriend. So it's like we're the only ones here. And you got a really good question on there. It's like, it had me thinking for a while now. So it's like, in the future, 
do I really do I want a wife? It was like me and Hudson are very picky. I know it's it's not this is not a, 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 this is not an advice to be picky. My advice for this is get whatever girl is available. But me and Hudson are different. We are picky. We 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 only like gothic emo punk rock girls. That's what we like. We like them funky girls, you know, colorful hair, mohawks, gothic people. Yeah, I know I'm a Christian and stuff, but some of them out there, it's just a style, you know. It's just a style. So, I really don't know what the future will predict. So, maybe down the road, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to get a wife. But if it doesn't, this it means, I mean, I'm just preparing myself. It's like, don't for me because I know what my potentials are I know what I do I know how people think of me I know what how things work between me and Hudson and the society you know so it's like I can't predict the future and like people say yeah it would be nice to have a wife but I don't want to affiliate myself with nasty shit if the perfect one comes to me or Hudson because me and Hudson talked about this before, and it's like, don't rush. Just let it, let the girl come to you. Just let it unfold, you know. And if it never happens, oh well. Because I'm not gonna be like getting pumped up and so ooh, I'm gonna meet a girl that I like. Then down the road, my heart gets broken because I don't got time for that, you know. I really don't. I like, I don't give a shit. So it's like, yeah, I would like to come in my wife. Bonus. And have my little fuck babies, you know? So, do, do, you, do I think I'll ever get married? No, I do not. I don't think I'm compatible to get married. Because people think I'm retarded down in the South. And I know I have some YouTube fans out there that think I'm retarded. And they just like to laugh at me. Go ahead. This channel's for laughing only, you know? You, you laugh. You laugh. I laugh at my own shit. So, I love what I do. So, I do not think that I'll get married because girls down here think we're retarded. And I, I may be wrong, you know? I may be wrong. So, I cannot predict the future. So, that's the best way I can answer that question. I can't predict the future. I'll just live my life. How I do love being myself, doing the same things that I do. And if the girl that meets my expectations come along and she comes to me and I do my diagnostics, my tests and everything and she comes out good, I'll be getting married. If it never happens, oh well. I'm not going to be like getting depressed about it because I got a life to fulfill. You know, I got a mission and that's all I care about is God my family and myself and my fans that's it nothing else so I'm just happy what I am if a girl wants to come into my ham pal life okay all you gotta do is pass my tests you're good if it doesn't happen oh well I don't care whoop whoop I don't care but yeah people are going through puberty and you know this generation is all about fucking bitches fucking guys it's like a big mess so that's it, Mr. Dodo Bird 16. Good question, brother. I appreciate you. Next question. By the War and Peace. When can we see some prank videos? I want to see you and HUD pull off some sneaky pranks on people. All right, War and Peace. Unfortunately, we can't pull sneaky pranks on here. But let me tell you why. Because there's always a reason why we can't do something or anything. Because down here on the island, on Hilton Head, we got a lot of old timers, old people, and it's like, you do a prank on them, they'll call the cops, because we have done it before, like, I remember this one time, we pulled a prank on a golfer, he ended up cursing our asses out, and it was like, probably have seen it, but I don't know what ever happened to the video. It's a, it was on YouTube, but I can't find it. I was pissed off. I was like, fuck. Where did it go? So, be, when you pull pranks on people down here, they'll call the cops. 
and they will chase you and they could have a heart attack it depends on the prank we do we could cause them to have a heart attack or seizures or I mean there's a lot of things we could do we may cause a harmless prank but they end up dying and we are responsible for it and we'll get like manslaughter charges and I can't do that so down here you gotta be careful what you do to other people because in Bluffton people are getting shot like, like today in one of the apartment complexes in Bluffton where my sister's boyfriend lives at there was a shooting because of a distribute you know it's like this generation people overreact too much over a prank you know it's like calm down it's just a prank and at Publix one of my co-workers was telling me they got soda on them I was like how do you got soaked by soda some teenagers in a SUV had a cup full of soda and they splashed it on one of my co-workers and a customer and that customer chased them and it was in the paper and I don't know what happened but they were really sorry because people cannot take a joke here in the south as well so I'm sorry I don't want to put myself at risk I don't want us to have a bad name or have something bad you know so I'm sorry here's the next question by some homeless kid also bring back these toots oh trust me I'll give you a toot in three two one by Nighthawk when will you re correct reshort the dance videos sorry I don't know how to pronounce that unfortunately Nighthawk we can't because I've been starting getting copyright strikes against my channel and I if I get three strikes I'm out they'll shut down the YouTube account and it's like fuck you can't have a good time with music on YouTube you know it's like they take out all the fun so that's why we can't do that anymore it's like oh well what happened so the music that I use in my blogs and my movies is I for my movies I ask permission to use their audio and they accept it that's cool they say no I've had people say sorry we, we don't want you to use our music in your videos okay alright so next question by Itzler did you fuck any of the seals at the fair no I did not because number one that's creepy shit number two imagine those seals giving you head <sighs> imagine picture this a, ca a carrot the seals is biting the carrot you can hear it crunch and imagine your dick when it's super hard and the seal went to bite it is like <sniffs> ooh I could hear that so no we do not fuck animals I don't know what kind of world you're growing up in but no, we, we don't do that kind of nonsense. Next question. By the Load King. Have you ever confronted your abuser? Have you thanked him? A lot of people may think you're fucked up for that. But don't worry. I've said, ask anything. Don't be afraid. So, to you guys that think it's fucked up, it's just a question. I've never confronted my abuser. And I would like never to confront him because that's God's work that's God going to deal with him and you know karma is a bitch and no I have not thanked him and I would like to thank him because he gave me that opportunity to really look at myself and really study myself from a bad state of time from a bad state of mind from now it's like if it could have never happened I would have been different I could have not been easy I've, I'll be a hard-headed fuck and I would have be totally different so it kind of benefited me in the way but I know y'all fantasize about that it's like I sometimes wonder if y'all are like pedophiles and thinking that's okay 
which it's really not. Because, yeah, I mean, you guys may think, I mean, I may say some jokes about it, but it, saying jokes about it helps me, like, think it's funny because there's nothing I could do. I don't want to, like, sit in my own shit and get depressed about it because I'll let him win. Then with me, I move on. It's, like, over. And it's, like, but I have those moments that I think about it and I don't think it's funny. I think it's fucked up. It's pitiful. It's, like, wish it never happened. But at the same time, it built me as a person as of today. I mean, it's like, I mean, it benefited me because I'm able to help others. Especially a lot of people these days, you know? It's like, you don't, you've never talked to people that went through the same thing. And they, like, get pissed off and things. And I think I'm the first person that actually, like, started cracking jokes on it. Because that is how I make myself feel better it's like i would crack a joke about it it's like ha <laughs> so but i have those times that i just sit back and just like think about it it's like fuck and the, the thing about the reality things of it then the comedy version of it because i like telling jokes you know i like being myself being like making people laugh having a good time being cool trying to be popular but it's like everybody deals with things a different way and a lot of people may criticize me. It's like, why do you think it's funny? Why do you laugh at it? It's like, it's better off to laugh about something than just sitting on the floor with your hands and arms in your lap like crisscross applesauce. It's like, what are you doing, Hamilton? I'm just depressed about it. It happened. It was my fault. No, 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 no. It's like, it's like... Yeah, it's like, I'm depressed, I'm this, I'm that. It's, no, I'm not like that. Hell no. It's like, yeah, do I let it control me? Nope. Nope, it's just a scar. That's it. And I just do what I do best, you know? It's like, everybody handles things a different way. So you try to be successful. And he may took all my value away from me. And I have no value, but I create my own value, you know? You just see yourself as a person. You know, it's like you could rebuild yourself. Don't, like, keep on saying that, yes, he took all my value. Yeah, he took my half of my value. I remade all my value, and look at where I'm at now. It's like doing this. So it's like, I would never want to see his ass again. I've just put in God's hands and I just move on from it and without him I could have been totally different. So it was like, if you've been tra traumatized before due to like car accident or something scary or a beating or anything could trauma traumatize you, you sit back and think about it and you learn and it makes you appreciate yourself more. You know, that, and that would have done. I make... I appreciate myself way more than I've done in the past. So that's it for that question. Next question. By finger or toe. Can you please do some African American outreach in one of your upcoming videos? It's time you showed you care. So my first thing, why does it have to be about African American? Why can't it be with all people? Because I don't select favorite groups. I don't select favorite race. I treat everybody the same. I don't specify one particular race. I don't do clubs. I don't like idol every that one brand. I check everybody out. Everybody's the same. So I don't know what you're trying to say in this. Can you please do some African American outreach in one of your upcoming videos of what? I mean it's like I'm clueless right now and it's time you showed you cared. It's like, I care for all people. So, if you're doing the right thing, I care for you. If you're doing something stupid or hatred or anything that like that in kind of nature, I hate your ass. I don't affiliate with that kind of stuff. You know, it's like, I don't have time for ignorance. I don't have time for criminals. I don't have time for assholes. I just care for everybody. That's it. And that was it for this month's questions.